Unit 7, Lesson 2, Points on the Number Line. Number 1. For each number, name its opposite. A. Negative 5. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5 or 5. B. 28. The opposite of positive 28 or 28 is negative 28. C. Negative 10 and 4 tenths. The opposite of negative 10 and 4 tenths is positive 10 and 4 tenths, or 10 and 4 tenths. D. 875 thousandths. The opposite of 875 thousandths is negative 875 thousandths. E. 0. 0 is its own opposite. F. Negative 8003. The opposite of negative 8003 is positive 8,003 or 8,003. Number two, plot the numbers negative one and five tenths, three halves, negative three halves, and negative four thirds on the number line. Label each point with its numeric value. Since negative one and five tenths has the same value as negative three halves, they have the same location on the number line. To the right of it, or slightly closer to zero, would be negative four-thirds. And then on the positive side of zero, we have three halves. And since three halves is the same as one and a half, you'll notice that its location on the number line is exactly between one and two. Number three, plot the following points on a number line. Negative one and five-tenths. In blue, you can see negative 1 and 5 tenths to the left of 0, halfway between negative 1 and negative 2. The opposite of negative 2. Well, the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. So you'll notice two units to the right of 0 on the number line, I've plotted the opposite of negative 2, which is positive 2. The opposite of 5 tenths. Well, the opposite of 5 tenths would be negative 5 tenths. So you'll notice halfway between 0 and negative 1 on the number line, I've plotted negative 5 tenths. And then finally, negative 2. Two units to the left of 0 on the number line, I've plotted negative 2. Number 4. A. Represent each of these temperatures in degrees Fahrenheit with a positive or negative number, I, or let's call that 1. 5 degrees above 0, that would be 5 or positive 5. 2, 3 degrees below 0, that would be negative 3. Number 3, 6 degrees above 0, that would be a positive 6 or 6. 4. 2 and 3 fourths degrees below 0. That would be a negative 2 and 3 fourths. B. Order the temperatures above from the coldest to the warmest. Well, the furthest below 0 in this case would be negative 3, then negative 2 and 3 fourths, then 5, and then the warmest would be 6. Number 5. Solve each equation. A. 8x equals 2 thirds. That's the same as 8 times x equals 2 thirds. We need to solve for x. And in order to solve for x, we're going to divide 2 thirds by 8. 2 thirds divided by 8 will equal x. In order to do 2 thirds divided by 8, we're going to multiply by the reciprocal of 8 over 1. 2 thirds times 1 over 8 equals x and two-thirds times one-eighth is one-twelfth. X equals one-twelfth. B. One and one-half equals two X. That's the same as two X, or two times X, equals one and a half. That can be rewritten as three over two divided by two over one equals X. We can solve for X by multiplying by the reciprocal of two over one. 3 halves times 1 half equals x, and 3 halves times 1 half equals 3 fourths, so x equals 3 fourths. C. 5 halves equals 2 sevenths. 
That can be rewritten as 2 sevenths divided by 5 over 1 equals x. We can solve for x by multiplying by the reciprocal of 5 over 1. That would be 2 sevenths times 1 fifth equals x. And 2 sevenths times 1 fifth equals 2 thirty fifths. So 2 thirty fifths equals x. Or x equals 2 thirty fifths. D. 1 fourth x equals 5. That can be rewritten as 5 divided by 1 fourth equals x, which is the same as 5 over 1 divided by 1 fourth equals x. And to solve for x, we'll multiply by the reciprocal of 1 fourth. So 5 over 1 times 4 over 1 equals x. And 5 over 1 times 4 over 1 equals 20 over 1. So x would equal 20. E. 1 fifth equals 2 thirds x. That can be rewritten as 1 fifth divided by 2 thirds equals x. We'll have to multiply by the reciprocal of 2 thirds. That would be 1 fifth times 3 halves. And 1 fifth times 3 halves equals 3 tenths. So x equals 3 tenths. Number 6. Write the solution to each equation as a fraction and as a decimal. A. 2x equals 3. That can be rewritten as 3 divided by 2 equals x, which is 3 halves or 1 and a half. x equals 1 and a half or 1 and 5 tenths. B. 5y equals 3. That can be rewritten as 3 divided by 5 equals y. 3 divided by 5 can be rewritten as 3 over 5, or 3 fifths. So 3 fifths equals y. 3 fifths is the same as 6 tenths. 3 times 2 equals 6, and 5 times 2 equals 10. So 3 fifths equals 6 tenths. And 6 tenths is the same as a decimal, 0 0.6. So y equals 3 fifths, and y equals 6 tenths. C. 3 tenths z equals 9 thousandths. That can be rewritten as 9 thousandths divided by 3 tenths equals z. And 9 thousandths divided by 3 tenths is the same as 9 hundredths divided by 3. And 9 hundredths divided by 3 is 3 hundredths. So z equals 3 hundredths. As a fraction, it would be 3 over 100, and as a decimal, 3 hundredths would be 0 0.03. Number 7. There are 15 and 24 hundredths centimeters in 6 inches. A. How many centimeters are in 1 foot? Well, 6 inches times 2 equals 1 foot, so 15 and 24 hundredths centimeters times 2 is going to equal 1 foot. So there are 30 and 48 hundredths centimeters in one foot. That's just less than 30 and a half centimeters in one foot. B. How many centimeters are in one yard? Well, since there's three feet in one yard, we multiply one foot times three. That gives us one yard. Next, we would multiply 30 and 48 hundredths centimeters times 3 to get 1 yard. And 30 and 48 hundredths centimeters times 3 is 91 and 44 hundredths centimeters. So there's 91 and 44 hundredths centimeters in 1 yard. Congratulations, you have completed Unit 7, Lesson 2, Points on the Number Line. Thank you for being a Channel G-Rated patron. I truly appreciate your support.